Hey team, it's Tom from Fit Cure. Welcome back. Today we are talking all about anti nutrients. So let's get to it. So, what are anti nutrients? What are they? Well, anti nutrients are phytic acid, lignans, lignans, I can't say it, saponins, phytoestrogens, oxalates, phenolic compounds and so on and so forth. And these are basically found in plant foods in varying degrees, okay? So the chemical substances that can, I say can, make it harder for the body to digest minerals and other beneficial substances that we get from foods. So essentially they sound like the bad guys, yeah? And if you have surfed the internet a little bit, I'm sure you've come across before anti-nutrients. Um, so names for anti-nutrients also live in our starchy carbohydrates, our grains and legumes, and they're called phytic acid and lectins. So essentially, how do we neutralize these guys if they are even bad anyway? Well, essentially, the usual things that you would do, so if you're soaking your food, if you're sprouting, boiling, fermenting, or doing a combination of those three when you're cooking your food, that's why it's so important to soak your beans before you eat them. Um, it reduces the anti-nutrient content significantly. So is this a big deal? Because there is a lot out there on the internet. Um, I challenge you to go out there and type anti-nutrients into the internet and see what it comes up with. It's an absolute minefield. Probably best that you actually don't because you'll scare yourself half to death. Um, so is it a big deal? Well, some nutritionists say it's not a big deal. Phytonutrients, they actually refer them to them as phytonutrients, and they, some of them can actually be beneficial, actually consuming some phytonutrients instead of calling them anti-nutrients. Um, so essentially, don't freak out about these guys. Uh, eat a variety of whole unprocessed foods. So we know now whole unprocessed foods is anything that doesn't come in a package, anything that doesn't have an ingredient list. If you're eating those kind of foods, then you're something like on track of where we want to be. And if you are freaking out, just neutralize them by soaking, sprouting, boiling, fermenting, or a combination of the whole lot. So don't get bogged down with this kind of stuff. Consistency first on eating whole foods and curiosity second on looking at things like anti-nutrients and getting bogged down with those nutritional controversial conversations. So if you guys want to read a little bit more about these, look at Authority Nutrition, How to Reduce Anti-Nutrients in Food. That's a good one to look at. And also Everyday Health, Anti-Nutrients are Nothing to Fear. But in the meantime, guys, keep on it with those carbohydrates. Palm for women, two pounds of starchy carbohydrates for men, fibrous carbohydrates the rest of the time, limiting those processed, highly processed carbohydrates, the ones with the big, long ingredient list in the meantime, and try and have those starchy carbohydrates post-workout where possible. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and Tallulah will see you tomorrow as well. I've got Tallulah with me today because we've just had thunderstorms, and Tallulah's shaking. Bless us, she needs some love. Right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another lesson.